Oh my god, you guys are still talking about Spider-Man? Well, they keep revealing stuff about Spider-Man. All right, guys, so we got two things we got to talk about today. First thing on the list, Tom Holland wants the Amazing Spider-Man 3. Mm -hmm. Talked about why, and we're going to go into the video itself in a second. And then the other thing is, both him and Charlie Cox spoke about this. Tom Holland spoke about wanting a Daredevil Spider-Man team-up movie. I also want to kind of go into which comic I'd like them to specifically adapt as well or at least draw inspiration from. I feel like it will line up the best with the MCU. With that being said, let's uh, hit that like button if you haven't done it. Thwip it. And now let's uh, let's go into this. All right, so first thing on the list here, we got uh, Tom Holland talking with Brandon Davis from comicbook.com, the legendary man Brandon Davis he is. And here's where he asks him about The Amazing Spider-Man 3. Have you seen this? This clip in here? Yeah. No. Are you one of us who also want to see The Amazing Spider-Man 3 with Andrew returning? I would love to see The Amazing Spider-Man 3. I think <laughs> what was so wonderful was how Andrew was able to kind of make amends with the character in the studio, you know, uh, to kind of win the general <laughs> public awesome. back. Uh, that scene where he saves Zendaya, like the fan reactions in the theater were so spectacular. So should Sony decide to do that, they would have my full support and obviously so would Andrew. I mean, it just makes a, a big difference to me because obviously we've talked extensively about what the Amazing Spider-Man 3 could ultimately be. We even did a video not long ago about every clue and Easter egg that Morbius and Venom are in the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man universe. It's like with Tom Holland going out there and showing his support for it, that just gives it an extra push that it actually seems like it's a real possibility given the, you know, like the stamp of approval, like, please go ahead and do it, makes it feel like even more like it could actually come to fruition. Oh, yes especially in a post Snyder cut world and in a world now where all the doors are off and everyone's got a multiverse, it seems more possible than ever. And I think that there are more than enough clues to indicate that it is likely to happen. Maybe some sprinkling, some Andrew Garfield in and some of the other Sony stuff at, and at least then building up to it. Yeah. I heard one theory going around that maybe the reason why Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin doesn't appear or wasn't even mentioned in Spider-Man No Way Home is because when he talks about how he, he let his rage get the best of him in No Way home then maybe he actually killed Wow, Dane DeHaan's Green Goblin. That, that's that's a quite a grim portent, <laughs> yes. but I could I could imagine it, and that would be a fascinating thing to watch that character deal with the aftermath of. All right, guys. Well, yeah. Now that we got that out of the way, I hope that Tom Holland's endorsement allows us to happen. Let's talk about some Daredevil news. Recently, we had Tom Holland in the media. He said this when talking about Spider-Man: No Way Home and Daredevil. He said it obviously teased the future of what could be. I hope that one day we find a way for Spider-Man and Daredevil to team up again. And then Charlie Cox was actually recently asked about this. Uh, have you seen this yet? I have not. This is all news to me. Uh, all right, then I'm going to play this here. And it's only like a minute long of Charlie Cox talking about this. And this is the stuff I'm most excited about. I mean, look, I, 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 I feel so lucky to have been cast in that role. And it, and it is the gift that keeps on giving. I loved every single minute of making the show. But so to, to be asked to come back um, and to be involved in any capacity is absolutely thrilling to me. And I hope, you know, I don't want to sound greedy, but I hope I get to do loads more. I yes. hope I get to be involved way, way more for many years. I hope it never ends. I hope I hope it gets to the point where people are like, you're too old to be playing this part. <laughs> never. Um, Keanu so Reeves it. I, look, and, and I, I don't know what their plans are, but yes, my hope is that I get to do as much as much as I as I'm allowed to do and to be involved. And, and you know, it'd be really fun. The one thing that being in the MCU allows that we couldn't really do in the with the Netflix stuff is that I can now interact with other MCU characters. Damn right you can. Um, <laughs> so I'd like, that would be really cool. Crossovers would be really, was, is the thing I would like to do next. Do I don't it. know what that looks like and I don't know what, you know, what they're planning and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, that that's, there are some really interesting stories there that I would like to, I'd love for the character to explore. Wow, I realized I just downloaded this clip, but I, I didn't actually watch it. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking me if I've seen that. Have you seen this? <laughs> I mean, him talking about that brings up such great points. It's like Charlie Cox was only able to interact with pretty much whatever Netflix characters he was allowed to interact with. You know, in the comics, especially, Daredevil and Spider-Man have teamed up like many times. Part of the excitement of seeing Daredevil representing Peter Parker in No Way Home, which is something that's happened 
Batman in comics before, mm -hmm. where Matt Murdock has represented Peter Parker. I would absolutely love for him to keep on going. I mean, we're hearing rumors about him possibly appearing in Echo. You know, we're also hearing rumors about Kingpin being tatted up as one of like the, the next big villains of the street level side of the MCU, perhaps returning in the Echo series. What I've kind of been hoping for personally is that in the 90s, there was this comic run, I believe it's called Spider-Man Kingpin to the Death. In that comic book, basically, there's someone is like dressed up as Spider-Man or and they're, you know, committing crimes that are making it seem like Spider-Man's doing it. Daredevil doesn't believe it's him. Daredevil and Spider-Man, they end up working together and they uncover that the man behind this plan is actually Kingpin Wilson Fisk. With the fact that we have Kingpin reintroduced in Hawkeye and then presumably will come back in the Echo series. None of that's confirmed. That's just a major speculation, but let's assume he is. And then if we could start building up Kingpin in the new Spider-Man trilogy, with Tom Holland, where now this new Peter Parker, the one that where everyone's forgotten who Peter Parker is, he's more street level. So you can start building up Kingpin. So what if we can get to a part three of the new trilogy, where then you have, you know, a team up movie where you have Daredevil's arch nemesis as established in the Netflix series. And then you have Spider-Man's new nemesis as established in the new trilogy. And they have to team up together to take him down. I think that would be like the perfect team up movie, especially for, you know, Charlie Cox and Spider-Man. I think people really want to see specifically Daredevil and Spider-Man work side by side. Oh yeah, and plus you would get the added bonus of having them meet all over again, given the spell and the way things end in Spider-Man No Way Home, like they would get to forge a whole new relationship after that, then you could watch them, you know, as you saw them in the legal setting for a second, and now you get to see them out in the street getting physical and, and fighting crime. And I think that would be a really fun way to, yeah, pay homage to what's come before, but also start completely fresh. I well, there's a comic book too. I don't remember the name of it, but it's one of the ones when Spider-Man does have the uh, symbiote suit. He's like becoming a little bit more unhinged and violent and Daredevil's trying to like reel him in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of of that provocation, what I'm thinking that they could do is sort of draw some inspiration from that, that if you might think that Spider-Man is actually the one committing these crimes mm -hmm. and he's trying to take him down and then perhaps going off of what they do with No Way Home, he could be like, look, here's who I am. You got to try to remember me. You actually helped me once, you know? Ooh. So I think that way you like tie this all together in that regard too would be a pretty neat way of handling it all. And a great way to take out that first piece of unraveling the spell without going straight to Ned and MJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you were to try that, I mean, if you were to do something where it's like, you know me, we've met, you know, come on, like, you know, realize it. So I think there's a lot of really exciting things. We got the Madam Web in store right now. Obviously, Tom Holland will be coming back despite whatever <laughs> shit he's saying. He's coming back. And then I think with this multiverse established, you could totally have your Andrew Garfield universe running simultaneously. Tom Holland's endorsing it. They're basically all in endorsing the Spider-Verse. <laughs> so let's keep this train going. Guys, what do you think about this? Do you want Daredevil and Spider-Man to team up? Do I need to ask you this question? <laughs> Leave a like, we will catch you guys soon.